yeah, those are my goals for 2021. So this is what I got on my grocery shop. down to the cabin. I think I'm gonna get swooped. <laughs> I hate that noise. It's the scariest noise of all time. Hey what is up you guys? Welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new I'm Brie. Lovely to meet you and if you're returning thank you. I love you. I hope you enjoy today's video. So I've decided that it's finally time for me to start doing weekly vlogs so I don't know how this is going to go but I'm going to take you along with me throughout the week because a lot of you guys on Instagram and here on YouTube are requesting my workout routine, what I eat throughout the week, some of my recipes and how I make them so I thought why not just take you along with me throughout the whole week and then I can just give you a bunch of those throughout one video. So yeah, I really hope this video works out. Um, if it does, you'll be watching it right now. If it doesn't, you might still watch it and it'll just be really bad but <laughs> but yeah anyway it's Monday morning I am here in my studio and I'm about to start planning out the rest of my week so that's the first thing I really need to get done this morning so I'm gonna show you how I usually organize my week okay I've got two cameras on the job I have this one and I also have this one so I'm gonna start writing out my goals for the year one category is my relationships goals, so friendships, family, my relationship, all of those things. My finances, my health goals. Starting off with my relationships, I think it's really important for me to just be spending quality time with people. So when I spend time with someone, I want it to be quality time. I want to be present with them. I want to make memories with them. So that's what I'm going to write down. When it comes to my finances, this one's a bit tricky because I've just started working for myself um, as of like two or three months ago. So I think for this, I just want to make sure that I have a weekly income that covers my essentials and hopefully there will be some residual income that can go towards my savings account. That is my goal. It's not to make like $100,000 this year. It is to cover my essentials and still be building my savings account like I was when I was working full time. As for health, I really just want to maintain my health and fitness increase my strength because it feels nice when I'm making my body stronger and it's more capable of lifting certain weights and yeah so that's one of my goals and then just to maintain my health and fitness and continue to have a healthy relationship with food um, and then when it comes to my career I am just hoping that I continue to grow I continue to meet like-minded people online that I'm able to help and inspire in some way that I'm able to help educate around nutrition health fitness a balanced lifestyle I hope to have an engaged audience here on YouTube and on Instagram who feel like they can reach out to me and comment on my posts and that we're just like best friends because that's truly how I feel about you guys. I feel like we are just like online best friends. So I love when you reach out to me. I love when you leave comments on my posts and that's why I always try to respond to them. Yeah, those are my goals for 2021. Thanks for sticking around. I, um, I feel a lot better about that now and I feel like this year is going to be super realistic, achievable, and it's gonna help me be content within my own life without striving for unrealistic goals and wanting more and getting greedy and all of that. So I'm gonna go for a walk now, clear my mind, see if there's anything else I wanna to add to that list. <laughs> what I got on my grocery shop. I have all of my like whole foods, fruits and vegetables here. We've got some cherry tomatoes, some sweet corn, spinach. I also have beetroot. There's some soy light milk and the vanilla iced latte sachets, which are great. Um, yeah, some temper. And this here is the light sour cream. And I use this a lot for my dinners with um, vegetables and stuff like that. It's just a really nice topping. And then we have the no sugar 
chocolate, some Fiber One bars. These are low calorie, high in fiber, and they're just really yummy too. <laughs> and then I've got my protein yogurt, some sweet and salty popcorn. We also have the three cheese blend from Devondale. And this here is the Filler Bakery Lebanese bread that I always use for my pizza bases. And I'll have a full recipe on my Instagram this week as well. And then we have the sour cream and chives popped chips. And yeah, this is just what I needed to top up on and some good little additions. All right, I just got home from my grocery shop and I just did a little top up grocery shop. So it wasn't really like my everything grocery shop, just a few of the things that I needed to top up on. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite low calorie snacks. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, then you may not know of these yet. But if you have watched my low calorie, high volume meals and snacks videos, then you'll know all about these. So this yogurt is my go-to, my favorite of all time. It's Yopro and then some others that I really love is Cobbs Anything. So they're like a chip and popcorn brand and they have really low calorie savory snacks like this. This is the sour cream and chives popped chips. I've already got them in a container because I had some yesterday. And then this as well, which is the sea salt popcorn. This is the, I don't know if you can see it, but this is the brand Fiber One. They have heaps, they've got muesli bars. These are little like chalk fudge brownies lemon squares and yeah they have a, a really good range but I usually grab like four or five boxes at one time and then it just lasts me a few months so yeah they're amazing and then there's also this which is jelly light and of course there's heaps of flavors per serve there's seven calories and if you have a whole bowl I think it's like 40 calories for the entire bowl which is amazing and then the one that I love the absolute most but that's because I'm a chocoholic I love chocolate is this it's the well naturally zero sugar or no sugar added chocolate if you're looking for a low calorie chocolate this is amazing so yeah those are my favorite low calorie snacks that's a little grocery haul um, but I think I'm going to make a nourish bowl now and you guys always ask me for the recipe of these and I think I have posted it on my Instagram somewhere along the line in one of my recipe posts so if you don't follow me on Instagram and one heaps of low calorie recipes that I make then definitely go and friend me on there but yeah I'm gonna show you how I make one of my go-to nourish bowls right now decided to go live on TikTok so yeah I thought I'd take you behind the scenes of that so this is what it looks like hi Michaela Nikki that's so exciting well done oh my gosh hi Paula thank you that's really nice of you to say thanks for hanging out with me by the way um, it's a Monday and it's midday Okay, I am on my walk right now. I hope that the audio isn't too muffled or anything, but usually I go for a walk every single morning for around half an hour to an hour, sometimes more. It really depends on what I'm doing. If I'm responding to my DMs on Instagram, I'll probably end up doing like an 80 minute walk because I get so carried away. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice way to just clear my mind and start the day. So I'll check back in with you guys when I get back home. Good morning, um, it is Tuesday, or maybe it's Wednesday, I have no idea. I feel like this whole vlog is gonna be so all over the place, but I'm gonna make some breakfast now. I have just gone for a walk, and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm making for breakfast. My hot chocolate wheat bix Super, super easy, packed with protein, and it's so filling as well. So yeah, I'll show you how I make it. <laughs> I don't usually weigh everything I eat, but I do when it comes to protein because I like to make sure I'm getting enough protein throughout the day.
or a lot of energy so yeah I will show you behind the scenes of how I film my TikToks and Instagram reels so let's just jump straight in I have my phone right here and I'm just gonna set it up into position I really don't know how much of this you guys will be able to see but we'll see how it goes So I'm editing here, I am about to go live on TikTok here, so hopefully some of you guys will come and hang out with me, but yeah, my camera's about to die, so I'm going to turn it off, I'm going to go do this and edit at the same time and answer some of your questions. Okay, I am heading off to the gym now, but when I got in my car and started to drive, I noticed that something felt different, like it didn't, it didn't feel quite right. And it turns out I drove over a nail, so I have a flat tire, so that's fun. Luckily, my mother-in-law is amazing, so she is letting me drive her car, and I've just gotta be super, super careful because, I don't know, I'm obviously, I can't be the only one that gets super nervous driving other people's cars. Like, I drive very safely and carefully, but what other chances something happens when I'm driving someone else's car? Anyway, I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't wanna jinx it or manifest it. It's not gonna happen got my mask right here and yeah I've got leg day today so let's go train some legs and then I'm gonna finish it off with some abs and I'll show you guys what I do on my second leg day of the week also yes I do not wear makeup to the gym the only time I would go to the gym with makeup on is if I have spent my morning is if I've spent my morning filming and then I already have makeup on like I don't put makeup on specifically for the gym so this is what I look like at the gym with my fresh face on display but am i the only one who goes to the gym without makeup or do you get yourself presentable to go to the gym let me know just in case you're wondering Working out in a mask is not fun. Come on! Yeah! Holy jolly. <laughs> it's 9.15. Dylan and I have been lying on the floor of the kitchen for how long? Two oh, hours? Two hours. <laughs> two hours <laughs> chatting. Dylan's got a bit of spinach stuck in his tooth. Oh, no. And then I remembered I'm meant to be vlogging this week, so... Here we are. This is a part of the vlog now. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Friday, my friends. It is midday on Friday. I've had a really slow and easy morning. I have basically slept in with Dylan and then I went for a walk, I made some breakfast and had a shower and washed my hair and now I am just going to be filming some stories and content for Esme Skin Minerals because we are working together this week and so I thought I would take you behind the scenes of filming those stories and getting all of that ready. Just, yeah, just because. <laughs> might be interesting, might not be, I don't know. Hey, hi, hello and happy Friday. How exciting, that's always such a good feeling. When you focus on the things that you like about yourself, you start feeling really positive and happy towards yourself and so I just wanted to encourage a little bit of that. It just stopped. It just deleted what I recorded. Dang it. Start again. And that's about it, I guess. <laughs> that was a very long-winded and probably boring thing to watch, but my makeup is all gone now. 
um, and I'm gonna edit some of this together, send it through to Esme Skin Minerals and make sure they like it. And if they do, you guys will see it on my Instagram. I'm gonna go back upstairs now and make some lunch. I'll show you guys what I make. which you guys will be seeing on Instagram very soon. So we're going to the lake to take this shot and go for a morning walk. I roped Dylan in with me. Luckily, he's amazing and he's driving me out. But yeah, I wanna show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes of doing that. So yeah, it's Saturday morning. This is what we're doing first up and then I'll take you guys along with me throughout the rest of the day as well. at the moment I completely forgot to film an outro for this video so I guess this is the outro <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video um, but yeah if you want to see more weekly vlogs like this then please let me know because I really have no idea if this is gonna be interesting or helpful to any of you so yeah anyway thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads and I will see you in my next video bye